This is a bit of a new video for me. So full disclosure, Dope sent me every item that I'm gonna be reviewing in today's video. They did not sponsor it. Everything that I'm gonna be saying is gonna be completely authentic and honest. This is the men's legacy snowboard jacket in black size large. First thing that, that I notice is, is the medium weight installation. The fabric itself is, is quite thin, but at the same time, I'm, I'm feeling comfortably warm. Yes, I am inside and it, it's not quite winter yet, so um, that might need a little bit of further testing. Um, but the feel on the outside is nice, and like I said, on, on the inside, feeling, feeling pretty snug right now. Some of the features, um, we've got the storm hood, so for anyone who who is gonna be out there on a, on a really wild, cold, chilly day, this is gonna keep your head um, as secure and, and nice and warm. We've got uh, the zip area here for the lift pass so you can swipe the gate, not have to worry about fumbling around for those. Then there is the wrist gates as well. Um, for those of you, I really enjoy this feature. Um, the more and more I do it, being able to put it into my gloves Again, just keep sort of that skin area between the jacket and the gloves that a little bit uh, secure and, and warm from, from the elements. Now, the biggest thing I noticed when I took this jacket out of the packing is this pocket right here. I've never seen anything like this before. They call this the media pocket. Now, for me, the thing I need to sort of store is my GoPro when I'm out there filming. And a lot of the time, I have to sort of keep it stored in the bag and I'm, I'm constantly going in and out. Um, it's not a comfortable thing to have on me on my previous jacket. So if I get the GoPro now, you guys are gonna get to go inside the, uh, the area close to my stomach right now. So if I put that in there and I just drop you guys in there, it might get dark a little bit. Um, and, and that looks pretty secure and there is ample more room um, for things like batteries, uh, phones, wallets. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with having those. Two additional pockets as well in the normal places, side by side there. And um, yeah, that, that is around, it's a good fit. Got the good old dope logos on the back as well. Um, One final thing to mention on this is the half zip with double plackets so the zip only comes to around here you've got to actually put your head in first from the very bottom to put everything in and that's not something I've ever really bought before I, I much prefer the, the, the top to bottom but again that's just down to personal preferences you let me know what you think about this jacket in the comments below now next we've got the iconic men's snowboard pants these are in uh, a Don Burgundy color in size large. Um, first of all, absolutely love the color, but I won't lie, when I was initially trying this on, I thought I'd completely uh, chosen the wrong size for these. It felt so loose around the waist area, and I thought without like having a really, really tight belt, this is gonna cause problems. But then I came across the, the, the waist straps, one of these on both either side, there's sort of Velcro in there as well. Um, that immediately makes such a difference. Um, I have quite wide hips. And so having these here, you know, again, it feels so secure. Um, I could easily add to that if you have any sort of suspenders, if that's the type of thing you use in the skiing, you can Velcro those on, on either side here as well. There is extra protection for the side pockets, again with Velcro, and then you've got a zip inside there, which I think is pretty neat. Um, those look like some really high quality zips as well, so there's no water getting into those if you're on a, on a real wet, snowy day. Look, I have to be honest, these type of pockets down towards sort of the knee area, I've never really used them on any ski product. I feel that when you put items in there, whether that's just like a wallet or um, a bit of paper or anything like that. It, it sort of drags everything a lot further down. But again, that's just how I like to sort of, I keep things either here or normally on here when I'm putting items in. They do have zips down right at the bottom there so that if you 
do have sort of a larger snowboard boot or a ski boot, you can accommodate that. Right now it does feel actually pretty baggy around the bottom area. Granted, I'm, I'm wearing very thin socks right now and I don't have my ski boots. So once you factor into all of that and the maneuverability you need around that when you're on your skis or your snowboard, um, I don't think actually that's gonna feel as loose as it is now. Um, so more pockets on the, on the back side. Again, I never really see a need for those. Um, so yeah, really perhaps one or two m too many pockets for me. I think actually if they removed some of them, um, the simplistic look would look equally as awesome. But the fit is, is good. It's a mid, mid weight uh, insulation. Again, I feel uh, quite, quite warm in them. Um, never really come across uh, sort of the, the string type thing to actually tighten them. But on the flip side there, around the, the groin area, it's got the double pronged um, clips as well as the Velcro to, to add that extra secureness uh, for when you go out on the mountain. Now next we have the Adept Men's Snowboard Jacket, Don Burgundy color again, size large. Um, this is probably my more typical um, ski snowboard jacket that I would buy and, and certainly wear on, on a day to day basis. And what I mean by that is just sort of the general um, design with the zip going all the way from you know bottom to top there. That, that's kind of what, what I am used to. Uh, some features to point out, which I did forget on the others, these do have them as well, the vents. So particularly if you get maybe to the end of the season and it's a little bit more spring conditions and you may be a little bit sweaty in those, some of those areas there, you can open up those vents. Also, um, just like the other jacket I had as well, we've got straps around the wrist area just to tighten it again, stop any snow uh, getting in. Now, from time to time, I do listen to music when I am skiing. Um, if only for maybe a couple of runs or two, I usually do it in quiet areas. Um, but one of the things I'm always having to do is unzip certain areas and make sure all the, the, the headphones and everything are down in there. But what Dope have done really cleverly, so their media pocket is in the normal area, just on the inside of the first flap. But then to keep your headphones from getting wet or damaged, they've then put the the hole off the back of that pocket on the most inner side of that jacket. So you can feed that through and bring it up through in your headphones. And yeah, really it's, it's things like that where there's been a clear attention to detail that um, I really appreciate sort of the, the design of something like that. Uh, we've got clips to cover the pockets on this side, but again, it's that really high quality zip. So, you know, if you are gonna have important things in these pockets, whether that's technology, piece maps, you know, you, I don't really think you're gonna need to, to worry about getting any of th these things wet. The quality as well of this is it's, it's really good water resistant stuff. So um, yeah, and the two different dope logos there, I think that the general feel, the look of this one, certainly probably the, the one I, I prefer from that one with everything I've tried on so far. Just want to point out, we've also got the elasticated snow skirt here, which you can put down uh, to really sort of help you deal in those tough powdery conditions. And then the double placket at the top here to really help, again, prevent yourself from any water getting in through uh, the head and neck area. Now this is the Antec men's snowboard pants and a couple of things that are different, which I do like, I've never really seen before, is that actually the zips at the bottom base here are right down the back there. So I think really when you've clipped into your skis or to your boots, there then is zero chance of, of them getting caught and maybe ripping, or at the very least it minimizes that risk compared to, to others. Also underneath that, there's the same elastic fabric there that you can pull down directly over your boots, stopping any snow getting in uh, through the foot positions. There is a pretty prominent um, uh, a vent zipper down the sides of these. It's a mesh venting uh, right in there. So I think, you know, that's definitely gonna allow some coolness in there if, if you are a little bit hot around the leg regions. But yeah, like I said, that's 
incredibly thick compared to, to the other ones. Um, access to the, 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 the side pockets as well, it's a little bit oh, on, a, on, a, on an angle. Again, we have that high quality in there. Um, if I put my hand all the way down to make sure you can see, my hand is going to there. So that's taking it now into sort of the next one. Again, this is a pocket which I'd never really use, but you know, I know boarders tend to have a little bit more things in these pockets and um, yeah, again, those are just come down nicely. Um, another pockets on the back. But look, I'm, I'm gonna be, be honest with you. I like that they have the, the suspender straps again on these, but I, I think you're gonna actually need them because as a, as a, as a belt option there, there's nothing certainly on the sides for, for someone like me with, but this, uh, let me just kind of like show you. So this is what we're dealing with here. It's, it's, a, it's a strap thing, which is almost the type of thing you'd normally have on a, on a sort of a shoulder or a waist strap for a, a, a rucksack. Um, and I don't think that that, that works well with a, with a, with a pant. You, you want something which, you know, is gonna be firm. And these type of things can, can naturally get looser throughout the day if you're moving around quite quickly. Um, so I would prefer, like if they are gonna have something like that, I'd prefer to have those, those side straps like, uh, like the other, the, the pants did as well there. Um, but yeah, so I'd, I'd certainly be leaning to the first set of pants um, as opposed to this one. Here we've got the Wiley Men's Snowboard Jacket DS in a metal blue, and I am all over this color. Um, it works actually quite well, very similar to the to the Bramski Vlogs branding on on the YouTube site. So I'd love to actually know the color scheme that they use on the uh, on the manufacturing floor. But how this differs from the other jackets, this is more of a of a soft shell type thing that you're going to wear, rather as the insulated ones that those ones are. But you would still be able to wear this on the slopes. I think you're just going to be more choosy about the conditions. Maybe this is better suited to the latter end of the season, where it's more spring conditions. Um, you do still have your lift pass pocket here on the side. The vents though have no meshing on them. They take you straight in there. Hey, you might be able to see my other t-shirt there so again like that would would maybe get a little bit of uh, water in there on a, on a slushy spring ski day the cuff areas though are elasticated as opposed to the strapping it works equally as well though in my opinion and especially if you put the gloves in with this one um, the, there's not much sort of wiggle room in there I don't think there's much that's getting in there we've got my uh, media pocket which I like back on this one and you have that zip on the top there but also pockets either side you can put your hands through my hands are joining there what I've also noticed as I'm having a feel around inside here is there's actual a little elasticated pocket in there to put your phone in so that it's not rumbling around as you're going around skiing and then if you've got Bluetooth headphones um, you know, nothing to worry about in terms of the cords there you write as around and you're on your way just want to get into a bit of better light here to hopefully really show you how how cool this color actually is um, it does also have the storm hood as well and then for anyone who does have um, cord headphones there is a hole which comes up uh, inside this that you can then plug those in again you've got the uh, things to the strings to tug to getting close to, to wrapping things up here this is a, a solitude beanie in black and and you know it's very nice and, and warm around the side pretty snug um, a lot of some of the, the designs for beanies I've seen though, the way they're going is actually not to leave a lot of room so that it just fits tightly around there but doesn't leave as much uh, space up at the top. Whereas like you can see here, there's definitely a little bit of flapping that's going on, but it is a unisex size, this one, one, one for all size. So maybe that's something in the future that uh, uh, Dope would maybe consider looking at. Um, and then the final thing, and then the final thing to show you is this, this two X up knitted face mask, which um, I, I'm, I think the knitted thing is a great idea. Um, you don't see many of them now. This is, yeah, this is a dope item that is gonna be one of my essentials packed into my suitcase on a cold day on the mountain. And so there you go, guys, that is it. Now to finish off, I've put together a dope 
tier list. As you can see here, for me, the Wiley jacket in this metal blue alongside the iconic pants and the Adept jacket in that Don Burgundy color really took it to a whole new level for me. Maybe it's because the, the, the pastel colors are very popular with outdoor active wear right now, but it wasn't just about the color, you know, it was it was the fabric, the insulation, the, the, the quality and, and the little attentions to detail, whether that's things around um, the, the wrist area, uh, things for providing uh, areas for your media, your lift passes, um, and just general comfort. But secureness as well, like as I touched on with, with, with the pants, I thought that was a real nice touch uh, to make it um, as secure as it was around that area. But what do you think of all these products, guys? Have you bought any of them yourself? Um, or maybe you've bought something else from Dope and their other company, Montech, ahead of this winter. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, then please show the love by liking this and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. Every little bit helps, and I always love um, getting your feedback and thoughts. So look forward to check that all out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.